States are facing fiscal decline as a result of the global pandemic. Some are proposing that states should be allowed to go bankrupt. By the end of this video, you will know what the example of Puerto Rico can teach other states about their prospects. So let's talk about Puerto Rico. And this space that you and I are creating, we talk about the issues that are not in the mainstream media. And although the island nation have not made any news lately, the way its bankruptcy unraveled has a lot of lessons to teach us here on the mainland. And in particular, I would like to focus on how pensions played into this whole bankruptcy. A lot of state and municipal pension plans are in trouble all over the country and a lot of them might face very similar issues that Puerto Rico has faced right before its bankruptcy. So who knows? Maybe the lessons learned from Puerto Rico's bankruptcy and how pensions played into it are going to be important for a lot of states and municipalities on the mainland. For years, Puerto Rico has failed to pay its required pension contributions. That is the amount required to be contributed by an employer to a pension plan's pool of assets in order to ensure there will be enough funds to pay promised pension benefits. In 2017, it ran out of its assets and started running as pay-as-you-go system. Now, pay-as-you-go system does not really mean imminent bankruptcy right away because governments can raise money from other income and just plain raising taxes. But what happened in Puerto Rico was that benefits continued growing while there was economic and population decline. So this overall persistent failure to pay required contributions together with the economic slowdown bankrupted its pension plan and sent it off spiraling into bankruptcy. Currently, municipalities like Chicago and states like um, Connecticut and Vermont are all facing some sort of population decline paired with huge unfunded liabilities in their pension. So they might be sharing the fate of Puerto Rico sometime in the foreseeable future. Who knows? Now, it is fair to say that Puerto Rico's situation is a little bit unique because of the effect of Hurricane Maria and how it all played out in the time when there was economic slowdown, already huge unwanted liabilities, and the natural disaster paired with already strained economy uh, completely collapsed the Commonwealth's economy and sent it off to bankruptcy. What is alarming is that what Hurricane Maria was for Puerto Rico, the global pandemic could be for the states that already have troubled fiscal health. So what do you think? What happened in Puerto Rico? Whose fault is that? Is the Commonwealth still dealing with the problems of the colonial past? Or do you think there might be important lessons learned here? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll get back to each and one of you. For more content like this, sign up for my social media. Till next time, bye!